What is up guys, WAS Design here and today it's gonna be a tutorial on Element 3D, a plugin for After Effects. Alright, so here's what we are gonna do today. It's a simple, really simple text animations, animation, um, text coming out of the screen and then changing of colors and bevels. And here's another example. Well, what did I do? Uh, let's put it back here, okay. And here's another example, but this time it's gonna be changing uh, uh, the text. So yeah, like this. Okay, all right, it's not so complicated, but you need to know basics of um, After Effects to understand what I'm gonna do. So create a new comp, okay, create a new comp. Now you wanna create a new uh, text. Let's use WAS Design like always. I'm using Typograph Pro. Um, if you want to send text, well then just create a new text. New text. And then let's put isolate you CA. Okay. Uh, click the little eyes thingy. Okay, so we don't see them anymore. Now you want to create a new solid. New solid. Uh, make it comp size. I'm just making it black to make sure it doesn't do anything. So, and now you want to go search up element. Element here. Okay. Now you want to go into custom layers. Custom text and max. Uh, path layer 1, uh, whatever, choose WAS design or whatever you want. So, yeah, we got WAS design and ICUCA. Okay. Close this up, and now you want to go into Scene Setup. Click on Scene Setup, and you want to click on Extrude. Okay, and we are going to have this. Now, one good thing in um, Element 3D is that it comes with presets, and actually good presets. So here on Material and Bevel Browser, you want to click on Preset. You can add, uh, you know, materials, but I prefer to add bevels. I think it just looks better. So just choose one that you like and let's say the first one drag it on and there we go we got this. Now if you want to do a second text like I did um, just click back on extrude it's gonna create a second model you're gonna see here there's, the, there's this extrusion model and there's this one okay so we are gonna modify the this one now, if you want to change the text, you need to go into Extrusion Model here and click on Custom Path and choose, for example, Custom Path 2 and it's going to be SLUC. You don't have to do that if you just want to keep the same text, but for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to use a second text, okay? And so, we got this and then I just choose another bevel, let's say the red one, okay? Now here's the little trick you need to know. Um, in Element 3D, uh, the animations it's between groups, and how to choose groups is simply here's the numbers. So let's say we want uh, WES Design to be the first text. Well, then we are gonna keep the one here, and we want the ISO CA to be the second text. Well, just make sure you click on two and you unclick on number one. Okay? So now WAS Design is the group one and ICOC is the group two. Okay? Now that you have done this, maybe messed around with the um, reflection and stuff, well, click on OK. And you're gonna see both of them. And we don't want to see that yet. So you're, you are gonna go into Animation Engine and click on Enable. And yeah. Then again, you can change uh, if you want to group one or group two. It just depends on what on what you want. But I'm gonna leave it normal. Okay. Uh, so we are gonna start by keyframing WAS design like I did here. Let's see, like I did here, coming out of the screen. So let's start with that. Uh, you want to click on group one, and then particle replicator and particle look. Okay. Uh, here multi-object open it 
and enable it. Now just go back a little bit up there and make sure you keyframe the position Z here well, when you are in the beginning. Then you go down and the rotation randomness here and the scatter Z. Okay. And now you can play with it. Um, usually if you want to, s to really see something, uh, bring it to like 20 or something like that. And rotation random, just choose yourself. That looks a bit too much. Let's put 200. Okay. And of course, just move the position Z until it gets out of the screen. Like so. Okay. Now we'll go, let's say, to four and a half. Bring that back to where you want it. Let's see, like here. Keyframe again, the rotation randomness to zero. And the scatter Z to zero. All right, this seems great to me. Okay, um, let's use a little key shortcut to bring back all the um, keyframes by pressing U. Choose all of them and then, of course, easy ease them. Right click, keyframe assistant, easy ease. Alright, so that's done. Okay, let's just remember the position Z. It's less 500. That's good. That's good to remember. Okay. Now you want to go, just close this up, close this up, and close this up, and go into group number two, okay? And we are going to start it at, just reopen all the same things, enable this, and we're going to uh, put the position to less 500, like the other text, okay? Oh, and yeah, I was going to forget, if you want to see how it looks, just go back into animation engine and here in the animation just bring it to 100 and you're gonna see what's the animation, okay? Um, I want the animation to be random because it looks just a little bit better I guess anyways, and just go back into group 2 and you can always mess around with the key frames of course um, I messed around with the rotation randomness so let's see like here let's put this and then here put it back to zero let's bring in the keyframes by using U okay and let's keyframe also the scatter Z just a little bit just a little bit Alright, 10 seems good to me. Okay, let's bring in all the keyframes. Easy ease those. Right. Okay, now the last keyframes you need to do is the animation keyframes. Um, so you choose one you want them. Let's see, animation. Here, let's make it to zero. And then here to 100. Oh yeah, I'm going to move the rotation rim than this keyframe just here. So changes, and yeah! And of course, since, it in, since it's an animation, you want to always put the motion blur on. So make sure you click on here, 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 everywhere, and enable motion blur for all layers. Okay, and now we can pre-render this, and it should look almost the same as what I did before. Hopefully you will have understood everything I said. That was a really simple tutorial on Element 3D. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment below. If you enjoyed, and if it helped you, well, leave a like. Um, subscribe if, if you want to see more tutorials and such. I was WAS Design and let's just watch again what I just did. Here, text coming out and then text changing and there we go. That's it. That's it for the tutorial today. Um, I will see you guys later. Yay! Thank you for watching.